Hi, it's Dave from Red Shark, and uh, it's turning into a really interesting day because we've got the first view of the the new Canon R series. This is a massive deal for Canon. It's um, uh, as we said in our article, it's like at least the biggest deal for Canon for maybe ten years because this is really is a completely new system, and and how important that is is illustrated by the fact that. When you look at the new lens mount, the R mount, this is not just uh, a, a slightly different size lens uh, with, with a slightly different um, um, uh, depth to it to, to, to work with uh, a mirrorless camera. This is a completely brand new system that includes uh, 40 times the data capacity for the, the lenses to talk to the camera. The lenses have microprocessors in them. Um, and uh, it's it's just, you can see that the the way the camera system is designed, it's it's open for the future. So don't think of this as just a snapshot in time, and you'll look back at this and say that this was the state of the art in 2018. This is a, a camera which I suspect, like the previous uh, EOS system, was designed for you know maybe two three decades. Um, so you can see throughout the design that this is this is very open. It's very hesitate to use the word, but it's future. Let's say it's future aware as opposed to future proof, and um, well, you can see signs of that all over the place. Because, for example, the lens itself has an assignable uh, control ring on it. You can make this do anything. You can make it control aperture, or or any other. Uh, parameter and and pretty much all of the other controls are assignable as well so just moving on to the camera itself it's very substantial in case you were worried that this was going to be a lightweight um, uh, you know toy like device this is every inch every millimeter a professional feeling camera it's nicely balanced the lenses themselves are hefty they have professional written all over them. You can see from the red ring that these are L-series lenses anyway. But uh, the, the, the fact that this is a, a, a full-frame professional camera and it has 10-bit 42 output over HDMI, I think marks this out as very interesting. And it, it does output 4K video. Um, to, to get the 10-bit 42, you'll you need to use it with an external recorder like an Atomos Ninja 5-inch or, or something like that. But um, I would uh, remember this day because this, this is a really uh, big deal for Canon. Canon themselves have told me how big a deal this is. There's a lot of depth to this, and we'll be covering this over the next uh, few days and weeks. But um, uh, hands-on feels very, very impressive and, and absolutely a worthy successor to the concept of a DSLR.